So I've got two different jigs on. I've got a slightly bigger green one, probably about a 2.5, and then I think it's a 1.8 in the pink. So the 1.8 in the pink's just got a smaller ball sinker on it because the squid jig's not as big, so it won't need as much weight. And the bigger one, the 2.5's got a bigger ball sinker, just keeps it closer to the bottom. Oh, there we go. Pink one's straight on. Just dropped it down. Oh, he's off. He was straight on that pink one. He got off. Green one's on. It's a nice little bait size on this one. We <laughs> spitting his ink everywhere. So this cracker. I brought a rod with a single hook on it, so I'm gonna drop him back over. We are on. We are on another squid. Another one on board, that was on the green. Here we go. On the green. Green one so far has definitely proven to be a winner. See if he's got any with him. I've got the other jig there I can bring up. No, he's just a solo. I've got the other rod ready in case um, I need to bring it up to catch another squid. But they've just been solo so far. There he is there. Good arrow squid. Get him in the esky. Yeah, the green one's been doing the damage. They look awesome, these things. Oh, wouldn't you know it? Squid on the vibe. <laughs> We've got two squid jigs down the bottom and I picked him up on the Trans Am. take them any way we can get them that's the target species squid so if it's on a vibe it's on a vibe there we go don't worry about the squid jig just vibes <laughs> you thanks buddy i'm just drifting in about 30 to 35 feet I've got just enough weight on the squid jigs. I just let them go down in the bottom and then just wind up half a turn and sit it in the holder. One's got a slightly smaller ball sinker on it so it sits a bit higher in the water and the other one's got a, a bit bigger so it's heavier, stays down. That way I can work a couple of different depths. There's a squid just down there on that vibe. Oh, now I've got a squid on here. So I've got a squid on the squid rod on the white, there's one down there on the vibe. He's still there. What I need to do is I need to get this green one up. It's all happening here. Got a thousand squid around the boat. Well, not a thousand, but so I've got <laughs> one squid on here. Get him off. I've got another squid on the white rod. I'll sit that there, get down a little bit. Got another squid on this rod, that's on the white jig. And hopefully. Hopefully that one's still down here. Or is he gone? Nah, I think he's seen the carnage. Or is he still there? Nah, he might still be there. 
It's hard to tell. The water's really dirty today. It's all stirred up. Nah, he wised up that one. Spewing. Could have had three. Oh well. I'll drop him back down the bottom. Good first drift, ended up with seven. Gonna go back up, have another run and see how we go again. Beautiful conditions, but it was meant to be blowing about 25 straight off the bat. That's all it was when I got here, but then it just stopped. It will pick up again, but we'll enjoy this while we can now. So I've just moved the pink out of the lower rod holder into the back, so it's a bit higher. Because we're not drifting or moving far. I want it to get the most motion it can because the rod's now up higher. Each little bit of movement counts as sort of a bit more, if you know what I mean. Oh, there we go. On in the green jig again, on the cast. You've got any followers? They've all been single so far, except that one time where there was a few came up, but I only ended up, I can't remember if I got two or three of them, but there was more down there, but oh. The pink one was going off then too. Oi, hey! Reflex is like a cat. Just avoided that one. Good shot from him. He tried to nail me. <laughs> He's still going. Beautiful colours on him. I love the squid. They look unreal. Look at this champion. Oh, soaked me. Yeah, we're on. We are on. Hey. Hey right, guys, another little snack sized bait squid. Here he goes. Right, the breeze is starting to come in now. At least I'll cover a bit of ground, get a bit of a drift going. Should help proceedings along. I've got a bigger ball sinker on that one to keep it down and get a bit more cast distance so I can cover more water. And it gets it down to the bottom a bit quicker too, being in 30, 35 feet. And I've just got the other jig just bouncing along on its own accord. It's picked up a couple already as well. If you're just out there squidding, you may as well have that second rod out just sitting there. There's no harm in having the rod just there. Just wind it just up off the bottom, it won't get snagged. Even if it doesn't catch anything. If you bring your jig in that you're working, the one that's in your hand, and there's two or three with it, you can quickly wind up that other jig and get the rest of the squid. If you don't have it rigged up, ready to go, that can't happen. Like I said, it's no effort to have it there, so you may as well put it there. I've already picked up a couple just off the floater. And it's quite handy when there's uh, two or three squid come in on the actual jig you're working in your hand. Gives you the best chance to get more. Oh, there we go. On on the white jig. Another nice squid guys, another good bait size, we'll chuck him in the esky. Perfect example there of why the float is handy to have. He picked up that squid without any effort, just sitting there drifting along, got one. Very little one on I think here on the green. Tiny one. That's all right. He's still a good bait. We'll get him in the esky as well. Come on. 
feels like a better one, this one. absolute ripper that one we'll get him in the esky as well that's what he's got to say about it nothing good up chasing that green jig as I was winding it in then there he is there another nice one straight in the esky no drama's getting a good drift now <laughs> went from glass out to white caps in a matter of half hour this is more of what I expected when I came at least I'm not disappointed Squid on. As soon as I threw the trans am out. Where's me up a rod at? Squid here, guys. Just there. I'm gonna try and get this other one. got him what a mission that was now guys there's two back to back beautiful squid we'll get those two in the esky as well there we go we're on the pink pig Another nice size squid guys, that one's on the pink. Whee, spinning around. Here on the pink one, that's number 15. Just went off that one. Went off like a frog in a sock. Yeah, this fella just took off. <laughs> I thought he was gonna take me right out of the holder. That's on the pink one. Another good squid. Whee! That's 16. Right now, guys, that'll do it for the squidding session. Uh, that's that's the pink one I was running, just on a running ball sinker. And there's the green one, same setup. Pretty easy to use them. Just uh, drop them down the bottom, wind them up a little bit, sit it in the holder. Just the motion of the boat will work the jig for you. 
you can cast the other one if you want or you can put them both down and just use lures but yeah easy setup anyone can do it everyone can catch them too kids love it when you get a nice light breeze it's good because you get a good drift going so there's a couple of different colors of squid jigs we ran some worked better than others the white was okay uh the pink wasn't too bad as well uh this pink worked better and that green there hopefully that helps you guys get a couple of squid if you're struggling i'll see you guys on the water next time